What's Yo, up, what's up everybody? We are in Wellington right now. Windy and Wellington. Yes, and we are at the very <laughs> famous Weta Workshop, as you can see. There's a Lord of the Rings <laughs> troll behind us, and we're gonna bring you guys the top five things to do in Wellington. Starting with number one, the Weta Workshop. Let's go check this place out. Let's go. Alright guys, so we are here at the Weta Workshop Tour where we found out that Richard and Tanya built Weta Workshop from humble beginnings out of a room in their Wellington flat. This is the white orc from the Hobbit movie. Besides from Lord of the Rings, Weta have also worked on movies such as King Kong and Ghost in the Shell. They have a massive team of artists and model makers such as Masayuki Ohashi. I'm making my personal project Hermit Crab. Yeah, this is a shell for it and I'm um, kind of like blocking out the shapes to understand how it's gonna go and what sort of position the leg needs to be and stuff. Um, but eventually we will get to that um, sort of level of detail. It's just a really cool experience guys. Totally worth the $28 asking price of coming through and hearing about the whole story of how this place started. Very recommended. Finally, we're at Mount Victoria and it's one of the must do things when you're in Wellington. Let's go check it out. Along your trek, there's a bunch of these handy purple signs to let you know how to get to the top. Okay, so we made it to the top of Mount Victoria. It was maybe roughly a 20-ish minute sort of hike from the bottom of Madri Bank Street, right up to the top, no stopping. Probably want to be a bit more aptly dressed than I am, because <laughs> I originally wore sandals and just swapped out to a bit more comfortable walking shoes. And these pants are very warm, so <laughs> definitely wear some shorts when you're up here. And don't forget your sunscreen. Guys, we are in one of the most awesome places in Wellington. This is the Te Papa Museum. This place is huge. You can easily spend a whole day here. There's so many different exhibits. You've got Blood Earth, you've got Gallipoli, you've got the Terracotta Warriors here in New Zealand for the very first time. This place is absolutely amazing. We're gonna go check out some of these spots now. Let's go have a look. If you grew up in New Zealand, then you would have heard the Battle of Gallipoli story a hundred times. It's part of New Zealand history. The soldiers are like two and a half times real size, and it's so realistic. You can see the sweat, you can see the blood, you can see every single individual here. And funnily enough, it was all done by the Weta Studio people as well. I am really impressed and was actually free to see all of this. Very cool. After a brief stop at Blood Earth and Fire, we head over to the Terracotta Warriors, which had a $20 cover charge. This was understandable enough since they had to import these all the way from China. With eight soldiers and two horses and a whole bunch of different ornaments, this was something that I always wanted to see and I thought I'd end up seeing it in China. So how cool is it that we get to see this in Wellington? And that wraps up the Papa Museum. On to our next spot. We're now at Oriental Bay and it's another must-visit location when you're in Wellington. You get a beautiful coastline view of the city. There's lots of joggers and plenty of walking and bikers that's here as well. Definitely come visit. This Oriental Bay Beach is the closest beach you'll find to the inner city. And check out that view behind me. Alright guys, okay. so we're heading off to the cable cars right now. Yeah. We're on Lambton Quay, which is the main shopping district in Wellington City. It's not bad. It's quite, quite a few shops a and everything's and convenient, things. right? Yeah. Yeah. Not too bad. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get over to those cable cars. Yeah. So a return ticket is $9 or $5 for one way for an adult.
reached the top. So when you get to the top of the cable cars, there's a cable car museum, and there's also the botanic gardens, both are free of charge. The other attractions up here is the Space Place, as well as Zealandia, which is an award-winning eco-attraction. Um, those ones have admissions to it though, but you can enjoy the free view from up here. So once you get to the top of this cable car place, you can actually walk back down into the city, but we've got a return ticket because, you know, we got to get some more food in us. For those of you guys who don't know, Yen and I also do a bunch of food on our channel. And so if you're interested in finding out where the best places to eat in Wellington are, definitely check out the link in the description for our Best Eats Wellington episode. Hey guys. hey guys! And that concludes the top five things to do in Wellington. Windy Wellington. Yeah, it's been an amazing stay here. We've had a, just a brief weekend here, but there's lots to eat, lots to see and do. Yep, definitely recommend this place if you want to come check it out. Yes, definitely. So if you like this content, don't forget to hit the like and the subscribe button. We'll see you guys on plenty more episodes to come. Catch see ya! You later.